Thanks for hitting that play button and welcome back to another Adventure Bandit video. Guys, this week we are headed south. Yes, I said it south. We are going back south once again. I know you're like, why do they keep going south? Guys, we go south for the warmth. We go south because we ain't got nothing else to do. But anyway, we're not going to Florida this time. We're going to Texas. Yes, we're going to hang out in Texas. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to go visit our son. And after that, we're going to the RV Unplug Rally. We're going to have some fun, guys. We, we're going to make a trip out of this. And guess what? We're taking you along. Kentucky but our second our second full we're going on our second full tank first one a hundred and eighty dollars this one that's a good price right there yes I had to search it so I'm predicting around what another 182 I'll be happy with 170 but anyway we went really low with this because we want to find the better deal it's different when you have a diesel because diesel is so high you want to find the best deal possible and also get you know your reward points on it anyway where are we going you guys with this hat we're in Kentucky where can we go with these hats Leave your guesses in the comment below. We want to see what you think. Wow, it's still going. <laughs> The battery is already going down. Yes, it's because it's a heater. And this takes a lot. What is warm in here now? It is very warm. So it really takes the chill off. And because we're boondocking, we really have no choice. We were able to put our bed out. And we're not but, even using a generator. And we're not using a generator. But we only need some warmth for a couple of hours and then we're gonna get up and get back on that road again on the road again so guys i got a trick so all you do is to make it last for a while mm -hmm. turn the heater down okay you don't have to have it all the way up that way it goes off then it comes back on and knock mm -hmm. that chill off right yep but it looks like we're not even gonna have this for an hour so guys emos 1500 watt, right? Yeah. The 1500 watt Emos. Nice. Nice inverter. We're going to be showing you guys inverters for the next couple days. Reason why? Because we're going to be doing boondocking. Like what we're doing today, this is our boondocking excursion trip. So, uh, 3120 plugs. We got the Emos. This one here has a Wi-Fi setting where you can work it with your tele, the cell phone also. Four USB-Cs, two USBs, nice. Right. Nice, I like it, nice look to it. Yeah, nice and sleek and pretty. Yes. I think I like that. That's so, like one of my favorite so ones so far. If we wanted to watch TV, I can actually plug the TV in and we can watch them both. 
Maybe I should have brought in, um, we brought a couple of different power banks with us to, to run this unit, like when we're boondocking, like what we're doing now. Um, that way we don't have to use the generator and wake everybody up. Um, right now, the current temperature here is like 48 degrees, so it's cold here. Yeah, so we and needed that heater. Yeah, and this RV was freezing cold when we got in. So we're gonna have it to, was beyond cold. Yeah, so we're gonna have to end up turning off this light because yeah. we got to conserve our, our energy. Yep. So, anyway, it's time to go to bed. Yep. Anyway, so, so guys, when I go like this, well, so guys, when I go like this, <laughs> it's gonna be morning time. Okay, so we did our boondocking at Crackle Barrel. And while at Crackle Barrel, we are staying at, I, I did the Google reviews on it. It's a 4.3 Crackle Barrel, which is good because the last time I was at one, we had, you know, just not the best time. But this one was completely filled with a lot. And when I say a lot, a lot of RVers want to see if they're still here. We did pull out our slide. Now we are going to get the show back on the road. This is our site. <laughs> Hold on while I close this up. sometimes when we do um, boondocking or I don't know it's just sometimes period I forget where we are parked and when I wake up I wake up like kind of like in a frantic state because I'm thinking like oh my god where am I at <clears throat> also it, it's like a okay realization checkpoint for me as far as the power bank the power bank started at 86 and then because we were using a very heavy duty uh, heater it dropped all the way down to 46 but we had a backup so we're starting to learn this you know RV game I call it an RV game because a couple of times we were not prepared for the cold this time we were we also have the generator but when you're at Crackle Barrel we did not want to start it or use it so Oh, looks like a lot of people did clear out, which is good. All right. Still some people there. So we're probably going to repark just so that we're not taking up any spots in the front of the restaurant. Where's the key so I can lock the door? I have another key. Uh, I keep at least two to three keys in the truck. And then two to three sets in the RV. I know that's a little overkill, but unfortunately we cannot get a keyless lock for this type of door. And well, really for this type of lock with this door. So I keep multiple keys. If by chance you don't have a keyless lock, get in here <clears throat> if by chance you don't have a keyless lock you are missing out it is the best thing ever but if you have to have keys we try to store them in numerous places um definitely in our trucks uh in our i'm waiting on slow poke <laughs> i'm waiting on slow poke here i am yeah oh yeah <laughs> And um, so we have them in our, our our truck. He even has one in his van. Um, we have one in the house. We have a couple, as you heard, in the trailer. We keep a couple in the truck that we use. And we may have another set somewhere like 
with our golf cart. And the only reason why we do that is because we wanna make sure that if by chance we have a lockout, we're prepared. Cause that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Isn't that right? Griffin tripping. Isn't that who got locked out at our event one time? Yeah, Griffin? He, yeah, he's gonna put him out there. Yeah, so not to say that that's why we have min, mini locks. We already had multiple locks, but if you cannot get the keyless one, try to make sure you even can hide a lock somewhere on your truck or your, or your camper, some kind of way and access it without opening up any passage doors or anything like that. So that's just, you know, helpful little tip right there. <laughs> that's a good tip. It is a tip. Great tip. Yeah. I lost my voice since I've been back to Ohio. Because it was cold. Yeah, because it's cold. He said he got sick because Ohio was cold and it was raining. But I'm not sick. Look at you. Try your hand at it. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can always pull over if it doesn't work out. Well, yeah, you can. Let's go. I think I'll let her try it. I've been driving for the last nine hours. Woke back up and started driving again. I am so cramped up. It's crazy. I need a good back massage. Anyway, we are 30 minutes outside of Memphis. Hey, you know what? I don't know. We're 30 minutes outside of Memphis. You think you're gonna be able to go through Memphis? Why? Look, look how quick she got out. Huh? They got traffic in Memphis. Yep. All I have to say, we're 30 minutes outside of Memphis. She gave it up already. Oh man, I am so cramped up. So, we left Ohio yesterday around eight o'clock we stayed on a we stayed on the road up until i'm gonna say about 2 33 o'clock got up this morning as you can see went to crackle barrel left crackle barrel around nine o'clock been on the road ever since it's like what 12 30 one o'clock and i think i'm gonna drive another two or three hours call it quits for it for a day this total trip it's 17 hours. I don't know how you truck drivers do it. I do not know. My back is all cramped up. I'm sitting and driving. I'm stiff. I've been having back pains lately from doing all the driving that I have been doing lately within the last month or so. I need a chiropractor or something. Woo. I ain't complaining, but man. I feel like a truck driver. What you have? What have you been doing when I've been doing all the driving? I have been complaining. No, I've been making sure that I entertain you, uh, and I answer all the comments, respond to all of the inquiries, and I make sure that if you need something, I get it for you. So I'm your ride or die. How about that? So guys, when we do be making these long trips, we still answer our comments. We still interact on Facebook because we got posts up on Facebook. Um, we still, we work. So, finishing up the glam file, finishing yep. up, starting more details yep. for the bandit bash. Handle, handling business, talking yes. on a, talking to, um, the, we talked to the RV park earlier. Mm -hmm. We talked to one of our sponsors um business Get, call earlier getting ready for the next future steps for uh venture bandits too 
Because yeah. we're making future steps. We're making big moves, big moves, big yeah. moves, people. We're doing it big. So, and y'all coming along and with we're us. We're taking you along for this ride because it's a roller coaster for us, and you it ride is. on this roller coaster with we us. We don't know what to expect sometimes. Yeah. We really don't. But um, one thing that you can't do is if you are going to get into YouTube, you can't just let it come to you. You have to go get it yourself. So and the, you have to put in the work. So guys, let me just tell you something. I like to keep my side neat. This is my side. And that's my and side. I get on Shanti all the time about her side. Yeah, I got chapstick. She put everything in the cup holder like it's a trash can. No, I don't. I This is a pen. What's all that? This is a pen. This is headphones for when I need to tune you out. And this is my headband. So nothing's trash. Mm, keep it clean in here. Keep it clean. That's all I got to say. But anyway, we getting back on the road. Should I throw away them cups? We don't need them. Go ahead, because we, we, when we stop again, you get more cups. Mm. Let's throw that trash out. The Let's get rid of good, it. Though. Yes, I believe you. It was. It was really good. Uh, hmm. I am cramped up. You know what? How? I wonder if a lot of people have uh, back massagers while they're driving because I know you're the only person a, that some trucks got the back massage. You're the only it. one that I know that's complaining about their back when driving. I mean, driving is not that bad. If I could get up the nerves, I would do it, and I would not be complaining. I mean, I get it. Sometimes your back may hurt a little because you're driving over ten hours, but he's not even breaking ten hours. He's only doing five hours how could it hurt that bad come on now come on somebody help him out let him know what he needs for his back put I, it in the comment below I what need, you use to prevent back problems I while need, driving i need one of those epidural shots something that's just not epidural yeah you only get those if you're pregnant talmage you sure yes take a brief intermission to recognize our sponsor which is brooklyn bedding brooklyn bedding has sent us this mattress here over a year ago so this is like a year review and so far i have been very happy with it i'm pleased so this mattress pretty much spoiled me anytime we stay anywhere else it's like i miss my mattress i miss this soft comfortable 14 inch mattress what you think about it well, I feel that RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding made a great product. They not only um, give you different varieties to choose, you can pick your comfort level. So you can pick soft, medium, or firm, which is really good. Just make sure that you, know, you and your spouse definitely agree. Also, this one has the cooling gel, not only for the mattress pad, but also for the mattress itself. And if you look at this, this is not a thin mattress that you would typically see in an RV because the ones that you're getting when you buy a new unit, it's super thin. It's uncomfortable. Um, sometimes you have back aches or neck aches. But with the RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, what they are known for is making quality products. Something else that I like that a lot of RV mattresses companies don't offer is that they ship free in the USA. They also have a 10 year warranty, which I think is really huge. It really shows that their product, they, stay they behind. stand behind it, right? Yes. Yeah. So guys, what I really like about this mattress, one of the, the biggest things I like about this mattress is it has what you call foam coils. So anytime Shanti gets up in the morning and she moves around, I do not feel her. So what me sleeping here, she sleeping there. When she moves, I don't feel a thing. So that's what I really like because at home, she wakes me up all the time. Something else that I do like 
that RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding does offer is that they also offer discounts to first responders and doctors and college kids. So, you know, they are really tailoring the RV mattress as well, home mattress for everyone. And I really do also want to emphasize on their customer service that they provide. They have an easy platform where you can order it. But if by chance you need to call the 1-800 number, they are beyond friendly and kind and very helpful. Guys, being that she mentioned discount, usually Brooklyn Betty gave their influencer a 25% discount. They gave us a 32% discount till the end of this month. So if you want to take advantage of this 32% discount, I advise you to move fast. All right, because this discount is not going to be around long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old discount that's in our description box and I'm going to put the new discount code there. So you got you got you got a couple more days um, before this discount is over with. Yeah. I call it the Memorial Day discount. So I'm going to put this new discount in the description box. Hurry up, click it, get put your telephone number in. After you click it, it's going to send you a code. It's going to generate a code to send to you um, so that you can use to get a new mattress. And if you don't need a new mattress, keep in mind that they also offer so many different accessories. If you're in the market for bed frames or for uh, mattress covers or for sheets or for blankets, they also offer that to you as well. So maybe you're not in the market for a mattress, but you can utilize all of the other cooling gel um, accessories that they have as well other accessories that will complement your RV mattress when traveling. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding, for being a sponsor of the Bandits. Yes, thank you. RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Thank you. Well, guys, another boondocking experience going to books. We stayed at Walmart. Can you believe it's 11 a.m.? We slept in, we was beat after driving all day. But anyway, it's a bright sunny day here in Texas. So, so far, all we paid for was the gas. We have boondock, we have boondock every night to get here in Texas. This is on this is unusual for us because we usually get us a stay at an RV park, um, move from RV park to the next RV park to make our way to our destination. This time we said, let's do the budget thing. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what this boondocking thing is all about. And guys, I like it. I like it. I like it. So now I'm trying to go get the RV wash before we head to this rally. Get the truck washed. This truck has been through some things. It has seen better days. And about to see another better day. <laughs> <laughs> 